Hey guys, just a real quick video. I wanted to test the glass and see how durable it is in terms of scratches on the new iPhone XS since this is Apple's and the world's strongest glass apparently, not in terms of raw strength against drops as I tested earlier today, but it could redeem itself in the scratch department. So I wanna test that and I wanna actually test the frame, see how accessible it is to bends because the antenna bands did change locations a little bit. Well, not on the sides, but Apple did add a couple down here and on the very top. So maybe that'll influence things, change things a little bit in the structure. So just real quick, let's go ahead and explore that venue. All right, first test is a scratch test. So we're gonna throw this beautiful gold into here. And uh, see, you know, put it in your pocket next to a bunch of bolts, nuts, see what it does to it. <laughs> because it does tend to happen, you know? Upside down. And this is the leftover one from the last test. I do not want to be breaking more of these. They are not cheap. Okay, so whew. dusty. Let's take a look. So against the light, there. Whoa, no way. I legit cannot see any, okay, there's a little tiny one on the Apple logo. Other than that, I seriously cannot see any against the glare. That is insane. Huh, seems like a stronger material indeed versus the uh, 10. So let's actually test it with a Mohs measuring kit here. So obviously the two and three probably won't do squat to either one of these, both the 10 and the 10S, yeah, so nothing there. A four and a four and a five, actually. Nothing, all right. And a six, which is zircon. And it's leaving, actually, yeah, so it, it is leaving little, little hairline scratches. It's not terrible, but they are there. This one also, so they are both susceptible to that. And moving on to a seven, this is flint or tourmaline. Oh yeah, definitely deeper gouges in here, but not terrible. So you can barely, barely see that. Huh, seems like almost the 10S is more susceptible to this. They're showing up easier on this guy. Huh. Okay, and to an eight, the topaz. Oh yeah, so number eight scratches it effortlessly. Same on the 10. And then nine, unnecessary, but ooh, it just digs right in. Yeah, so it is exactly the same scratch resistant wise. I don't wanna actually apply pressure with the most scale, but I don't know, otherwise it seems pretty, durable in this. When I did this to the 10 last year, I actually had a bunch of scratches on it. So not bad at all. The new glass seems like a winner. All right, so lastly, I just like to test the frame itself. So the front is cracked and uh, literally just testing the metal frame here. Let's see if we can get any sort of a bend going here. And yeah, I think I'll do it on this side. Okay. So just for the heck of it here, see how easy it is to bend it. Three, two, one. Oh, no way. That is so rigid. No, the only reason I can even shift it like that is because the glass is broken on the front. There is no way, no way this is bending. The 6S and 7 were like manageable to bend this. Not a chance, let's try the other side. Okay, so that happened. The antenna band separated, but it was dropped earlier, I guess. So I guess I kind of made that happen though. Let me try it on this one. Is that easy to break too? Nope, and this one. Yeah, so 
No way is this gonna bend on you. Look at how much force I'm exerting on it. And that did kind of snap out of place, but should not be worried about this in the least. So by far one of the most, or if not the most durable iPhone I've ever tested on this channel. I am incredibly impressed with the results I've gotten today. Water was just amazing. I do not fear taking my iPhone XS Max into the water. Drop wise, very resilient as well. And then scratch wise, I can tell, you know, in a bin of these, it literally had a tiny nick after an intense shaking. So yeah. Very simple test for you, incredibly durable. Some more videos coming tomorrow. I'm gonna try and get the speed test out as soon as possible, guys. Stay tuned, peace.